Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Stuff and this is second part of our shoe app cart management tutorial series and in the previous part uh, we have completed all the necessary stuff that we require for room database, uh, cart DAO interface and cart database class, repository class and the view model class and also we have created the model class which is shoe and if you remember in the last part i have said that you should create a separate class for the product and separate class for the cart but uh, to keep it simple uh, i have used the same model class but i have changed my mind and we're gonna create a different class for the cart and for the product so yeah so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just uh, refract this so refractor rename it's named as a shoe cart and select all click ok and yeah it will rename everywhere shoe table and this should be shoe table this should be shoe table and shoe table let's move to the database class and as you can see it has renamed here and let's check in the repository as well so yeah now as you can see this is the class for so this is the model class for the cart now i'm going i'm just gonna remove this parsable and i'm gonna remove this constructor as well let's just remove all the parsable code and this and yeah now we'll create another class and we'll name it as shoe item in this class uh, we will have this variables so let me just copy them and paste it over here and i'm gonna click right click and then generate create constructor select all of this click on ok and let's just create getters and setters again so click on the getters and setter select all and yeah, that's it and this will class this class will implement the parsable so parsable and alt enter implements method again press alt enter on the class and that's it so now we have different classes for product and cart so i'm just gonna minimize this and minimize this let's just close this now we'll move to the main activity and we'll start working on the layout okay so i have already created the layout for our activity main uh, and it's so simple but still i'll provide source code in the description box so if uh, if you want you can just copy it from there so this is the coordinator layout because we'll be displaying a snack bar after adding some items to the cart so that's why we used coordinator layout here and then inside that we have the constraint layout and inside the constraint layout we have one toolbar over here as you can see i have provided uh, elevation of, to it of 8 dp so it is looking a little bit elevated and then inside the toolbar i have another constraint layout in which we have this text view which is app name and then the image view uh, which is this drawable that drawable asset that, ha that i have added so if you want to add this you can just click on this drawable new vector asset and click on the clip art search for cart and you will get this so you can just select to it click on ok and then just click next and finish so this is how you can get the drawable asset then below this uh, i have one recycle view as you can see and i have changed the background for this layout as you can see this is a light gray and the background of this toolbar is white as you can see here so yeah so now let's move to the main activity and first we'll create a reference for our recycle view so recycle view and recycle view inside the on create uh, we'll call one method initialize variables 
and we'll create this method down here so private void initialized variables which we will be used to initialize our variables so first our recycler view will just find its id r dot id dot our main recycler view i have given it id and then recycler view dot set has fixed size which will be true recycler view dot set layout manager we will be using the grid layout manager so new grid layout manager first parameter will be context so this and then second parameter will be span count so we want to display two items in each row so yeah uh, then what we'll do we'll create one list so private list of type shoe item let's just name it as a shoe item list we'll initialize this inside our method initialize variables so shoe item list equals to new array list and then semicolon and we'll call another method which will just add the data into the list so set up list semicolon we'll create that method over here private void set up list and then so i have already added some drawables as you can see so these are some static images of shoes that we're gonna use in our app so yeah let me just add them so shoe item list dot add new shoe item and inside this we need to pass the shoe name brand name shoe image and shoe price so let's just pass the name as nike revolution and this is coming from brand nike then then we have to specify the image so drawable dot nike revolution road as you can see let's just specify some price so 15 <coughs> so i have added some uh, items into a list now we can just uh, pass this list into the adapter but before that we need to create one adapter so just click on the adapter package inside the utils click on the java class and we'll name it as a shoe Sh sorry shoe item adapter this will extend to recycler view dot adapter let's just create uh, in a class so shoe item sorry view holder this will extend to recycler view dot view holder click alt alt enter to create a constructor then we'll pass this shoe item view holder over here press alt enter to implement methods now we'll create one list here so private list of type shoe item let's just name it as a shoe item list we'll create one setter for it so set shoe item list we'll pass in the list of type shoe item let's just name it as a shoe item list and this dot shoe item list equals to shoe item list that to get passed over here then inside the get item count we'll just we'll check if shoe item list is equals to null then we'll return zero else we'll return shoe item list dot size semicolon then in on create view holder we have to inflate the layout and inside the layout i have added one layout which is each shoe so as you can see this is the shoe image and then text shoe name shoe brand and this is the uh, price and then the small icon for adding item to the cart so you'll get this code in the description box so you can just have a look on it I'm not gonna waste uh, the time or for the for creating the layouts so let's just create one view here layout inflator from parent dot get context dot inflate r dot layout sorry r dot layout issue and then second parameter which is which should be parent and then third which will be false return new shoe item view holder will pass in the view and semicolon okay so we forgot to write return over here return and this will be happy 
and I have find it all the ideals of our widgets that we have in this issue. So we just need to set data to it now. So in here we'll create one shoe item object. Let's just name it as a shoe item equals to shoe item list dot get and we'll pass in the position then holder dot shoe name dot set text which will be shoe item dot get shoe name this will be shoe brand name get shoe brand name this will be price and this will be price get shoe price and let's just delete this this will be shoe image view dot set image resource and shoe item dot get shoe image okay so this is a double so we need to type cast it string dot value of and yeah that's it so that's it for the adapter class now we'll move to the main activity we'll create a reference for our adapter so private shoe item adapter let's just name it as an adapter we will initialize it over here adapter is equal to new shoe item adapter semicolon and add, after adding a uh, data into the list we can just pass that to the adapter so adapter dot set shoe item list which will be shoe item list and then we can just set this to set this adapter to a recycler view so set adapter and we'll pass the adapter and yeah that's it press alt ctrl l to format the code so before running the application uh, let's just change our theme so we already have the tool toolbar so we don't want the default one so this should be no action bar this one and yeah that's it so yeah let's just try to run this app and we'll see how does it look now so yeah as you can see our app has been installed and you can see it is looking good we can just provide some par margin over here so let's just do that it show and instead of providing margin from the top we will provide margin vertical of let's say 8 dp and that will look good i guess so let's just try to rerun the app so yeah so this looks cool to me now i'll just minimize this and we'll create another activity so inside the views we will create the activity select empty activity and we will name it as detailed detailed activity click on finish just close each and everything import this r so alt enter so what's gonna happen uh, so if any user clicks on any shoe item so we will send him to the detailed activity class or detailed activity so for that what we need to do we need to move to the adapter we need to create one interface so public interface we'll name it as shoe collect listeners void on card clicked we'll pass in the shoe so shoe and shoe sorry shoe item yes and we'll create a reference of it over here so private shoe clicked listeners shoe clicked listeners will create constructor of this class shoe item adapter will pass in the constructor here so shoe clicked listener shoe clicked listener this dot shoe clicked listener equals to shoe clicked listener 
and as you can see we have card view here so what we can do holder dot card view dot set on click listener new on click listener we can call our interface method which is on card click will pass this shoe item there and this will be happy let's click on this and we need to pass this over here click on the red bulb it will ask you to implement this on card click method we'll press ok we'll just okay so let's just move to the shoe item first uh, remember i said uh, we used parsable here because we wanted to send this shoe item from one activity to other activity so for that purpose we use parsable here so we can just send it from one activity to another activity so for that uh, what we will do we'll create one intent sorry intent intent equals to new intent from main activity dot this to detailed activity dot class then intent dot put extra as you can see we can send parsable value over here so let's just define the key first so the key will be shoe item and then we'll pass in the shoe that we get passed here and then we can just start the activity with this intent yeah now we'll move to the detailed activity and we'll just fetch that data that we get passed initialize variables fire it void initialize i guess the spelling is not correct but it's okay So I have created a reference for all the widgets and I have find it the ID as well. And as you can see, I have this shoe over here. So we created the shoe to get, to store the value of this shoe that we get passed from the intent from the main activity. So to get that, what we'll do, shoe equals to get intent. get possible extra and we just need right we just need to write the key which we used before our here so this is shoe item and the shoe item so we can have one check if shoe is not equals to null set data to widgets We'll create this method over here private void set data to widgets we can pass the shoe over here or this is global we can just use it so yeah so we have shoe name dot set text shoe dot get shoe name then we have the brand name get shoe brand name shoe price get shoe price string dot value of and then the last one shoe image view set image resource r dot sorry shoe dot get shoe image and this will be happy so this uh, add card to button will work on it later let's just move to the themes again and let's just change this color we will use the light gray color over there so we can just copy this and inside the colors let's just name it as a light gray then in the activity main light gray and in the themes light gray so yeah 
So let's try to run the app. So it is installed and the status bar color has been changed. So yeah. Now I'll click on this Nike revolution and the app get crashed. Let's just click on the log cats and see the errors. Oh, so the reason our app uh, got crashed. Uh, sorry, it's just a silly mistake. So I'm going to cut this and we'll just put it over here. So we are trying to set this data before initializing our variables, like before finding the IDs. So we'll get the null pointer exception, obviously. So let's just try to run the app again. and it is installed let's click on the nike revolution again and as you can see this is working let's click back select this and yeah so that's it for this part in the next part we'll add functionalities for adding items to the cart from here and from here as well and then we'll show those items inside the cart activity so yeah, uh, in the next part, uh, we'll wrap up this application and yeah, that's it. Do subscribe and thank you for watching.